Hey everybody, today's project is we're going to be scrapping some old computers. We started by removing the screws from the back of the computers. These computers were about 20 years old and had lots of dust in them. We always try to sell something before we scrap it, but these were too old to sell. Once we have access to the inside, we removed all the cables. We also removed the floppy disk drive, the CD-ROM drive, and the hard drive. There are a lot of screws to remove. We removed the motherboards and we will process those later. We took apart the CD-ROM drives next. These contain steel, some aluminum, a laser, and a small circuit board. Hard drives are the most fun to take apart and contain steel, aluminum, a logic board, a couple of neodymium magnets, and sometimes gold plating. After we finish, here's what we have. We have some anodized aluminum, some cast and maybe extruded aluminum, four hard drive platters with aluminum and plated platinum. We have some neodymium magnets, a bunch of motors, some are aluminum but they all contain copper, a speaker with a magnet inside, a couple of fans with copper inside, two lasers from the CD-ROMs, some wrapped copper, we will take that apart later, a couple of dead batteries, and we start taking some of the components off, and we have some capacitors, an oscillator, some resistors, and some integrated circuit chips. We will process those later. We have some gold-plated pins, some copper wire or cables, and lots of screws, some gears and other tiny parts. We will sort this later. We also have two, our two motherboards. We have a huge pile of plastic and steel. We will recycle the plastic and most of the steel. We will keep some for future projects. Two power supplies, some RAM chips with gold plating on the fingers, a network card with IC chips and gold fingers and plating as well, two CPUs, and one has a lot of gold pins which we remove and keep. Here is one of our motherboards. Here are the things we want to take off. We have lots of IC chips which are the flat black chips with two or more pins on each side. You can desolder them or cut the pins with a blade or a flat tip screwdriver. There are gold plated pins on all the connectors here. You can rip those out with a pair of pliers and remove the gold with acid. We even have some gold plates sticking out of the edge of this chip. And these tiny chips are monolithic ceramic capacitors which have silver and palladium. These yellow-orange chips are tantalum capacitors. Tantalum is a precious metal, so you definitely want to keep these. But tantalum capacitors come in different colors as well, so we try to save all of the capacitors. And look at all of the gold plate on the CPU card. There will also be more gold inside the CPU chip. If you don't know what something is, save it and do a little research. It might be worth some money. Thanks for watching everybody. In another video we'll show you how to take apart circuit boards and obtain metals like gold and silver. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.